Okay, this is the video tutorial for the slip stitch rib stitch, which seems a little redundant to say that. Slip stitch rib stitch. So to start, we can chain any number. It doesn't matter, even odd. There's no plus one or anything like that. And then you would single crochet in the second chain from the hook and each chain across. That's how you get started. So I'm going to do 13 chains just randomly because it's long enough that you can see the pattern but not so long that it takes forever to get through the tutorial and again this is just for the stitch you can use this to make any project you'd want i'd be curious to know what you come up with At later this month i will have a video tutorial for a project that i did using this stitch i'm doing this in the battle of the stitches that i'm doing with teresa from critters crochet and we don't reveal our pattern right away. So it will be later the month of April 2024 is when I am doing this. So here's the stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. So then you just single crochet in the second chain from the hook and each chain across. So we are really excited about this collab. Again, it's called Battle of the Stitches. If you haven't heard of it, we're going to introduce a stitch every month and then we will make a pattern of our own design using that stitch and reveal that later in the month. If you want more information about that, go and check out, you can look in the titles of our videos, go check out Battle of the Stitches. But that's the gist of it. And I wanted to make sure that you guys knew how to do the stitch in case you wanted to make something with this stitch. It is a pretty cool stitch. It has a really, really nice texture to it. This is just scrap yarn that I'm using, by the way. I didn't even have a ball band for it. My guess is that it's some sort of medium weight, red heart, mainstays, something of that effect. So I don't know exactly. I'm using an eye hook, 5.5 millimeter. But I would just, whatever yarn you're using this stitch in, I would just go with the recommended hook size that's on the yarn. So now we turn. This is gonna be the repeat. So in one, in row one, you chain one and slip stitch in each single crochet and then turn. Row two, you chain one and single crochet in each slip stitch. So that's the pattern. You do a row of slip, slip stitch, a row of single crochets, a row of slip stitches. So let's see how this turns out. So I'm gonna chain one and hopefully keep the yarn on the hook and just slip stitch into every stitch across. And I think for now, just so that this video isn't so boring, I'm going to pause and you, if you're doing this along with me, you can feel free to do that and then come back at the end of the row. Since I'm almost at the end of this row now because I've been really chatty, <laughs> I'll, I'll just finish this row. But next row, when we put the single crochet into the slip stitch, I'll do like the first three stitches with you and then pause and then finish the row and then come back. We'll add a couple of rows to this just so you can see what the texture of this looks like. It's a really, really pretty stitch with a beautiful texture. Okay, so for the next round, you chain one and you're gonna put a single crochet in each of those slip stitches that you just put in. So I'll do one more to show you. You can already kind of see the texture that's showing up there. And then if you're doing it with me, pause with me and then come back at the end of the row. Okay, so you can see like this really, really nice texture that, that pops up on this. So now we're gonna repeat row one where we slip chain one and slip stitch. So turn, 
chain one and slip stitch into each single crochet. I'll do one more to show with you and then pause it and come back at the end of the row. All right, I got, came to the end of the row with my slip stitches. I'm gonna turn, chain one. So this is something that ha has a wrong side and a right side. So this is, unless you like the plain look of this side, but the texture really should be on the front. So did I chain one? You know what, I think I did chain one, didn't I? Yes, I did. I apologize. Chain one and then single crochet into each slip stitch. Let me do two more. I think this yarn is starting to split a little bit on me. So I'm having a little bit more difficulty. Okay, let me pause this and come back at the end of the row. Okay, the yarn was splitting a little bit, so I just took the liberty of adding a few more rows just so that you could see how it looks. I think you have pretty much the idea of how to make it. If you'd like, you could take a picture of this if you could read my handwriting so that you can have the directions for how to do it. And here's how it turns out. It's got a really beautiful texture. So stay tuned. If you're watching this after April of 2024, I already have a tutorial up for a project that I made using this stitch. If you're just watching it when it's first posted, you'll have to wait until the end of the month to get that tutorial. So have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day. Bye.